standard model of particle physics is made of 18 elementary particles. You have six quarks and six leptons. Quarks and leptons can be grouped in a family called fermions. Fermions are particles of matter. Yes, all the matter around you, all the matter in the universe, is made of fermions. You have six quarks, and these quarks are called up, down, charm, strange, top, and bottom. The six leptons are consisting of three types of electrons, the electronic electron, the muon, and the tau. Each electron is associated with its own neutrino, so you've got the electronic neutrino, the muonic neutrino, and the tauic neutrino. We have another family here called the bosons. Boson, blah, 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 bosons mediate force. So you have the photon, which mediates the electromagnetic force, the gluon, which mediates the strong force, the weak force is mediated by the W plus, W minus, and Z0 boson. The last box of the boson family is for the graviton. It would mediate the gravitational force. But the idea of a graviton uh, conflicts with general relativity. There's a problem here between Einstein's view of space-time and the view of space-time of quantum mechanics. So does it really exist, especially that we have never detected it? Oh, we don't know. And finally, you have a guy there all alone. He's also a boson. But it's a special type of boson. It's called the Higgs boson. What the Higgs boson does is interact with some of the other particles, and when it does so, it provides them mass. For example, you can say that the Higgs boson interacts a lot with the top and bottom quarks. That's why these guys are very massive. But the Higgs boson doesn't interact neither with the photon nor the gluon. Therefore, the mass of these guys is zero. In total, the Higgs boson interacts with the quarks, the leptons, and the W plus, W minus, and Z0 bosons. All these particles have got mass. You know that matter is made of atoms, right? And atoms are made of a nucleus and electrons surrounding the nucleus. The nucleus is made of protons and neutrons, and protons and neutrons themselves are made of quarks. 99.8% of the mass of an atom is the nucleus. Therefore, 99.8% of the mass of matter around you is made of quarks. But the quarks are not by themselves. They combine to make, for example, neutrons and protons. When you combine some quarks together, you get hadrons. When you combine three quarks together, you get baryons. For example, you have the proton, which is up, up, down. That's the proton. Or the neutron, up, down, down. But you can have other ones, like, for example, the lambda, which is U, D, S, etc. You've got tons of them. All fermions have got a kind of symmetric brother. For example, the up quark has got a counterpart in antimatter called the anti-up quark. You have the anti-down, the anti-charm, the anti-strain, the anti-top, the anti-bottom. We write it like this. An up quark, if you take it symmetric, it's anti-up quark with a bar on the top. And you can do this for all quarks and all neutrinos too. For example, you've got the electronic neutrino and the anti-electronic neutrino. Electrons, muons, and tau also have uh, antimatter counterparts. We don't put a bar on them by convention, we just put E plus instead, or mu plus, or tau plus. There's another subfamily of hadrons called mesons. These are formed when you combine a quark plus an anti quark. For example, you've got the pion family of mesons. You get a pion by combining an up and a down. So you've got up, anti-down, or anti-up, 
down or up, anti up or down, anti down. That's pions. It's got four types. We can also get caons. Caons are maisons which contain a strange quark and either an up or down. So let's put it uh, here because I can't write. So we've got here the up anti strange, the anti up strange, the down anti strange, and the anti down strange. These are counts.